Hi everybody, this is a quick tutorial on how to copy the digital files from your Blu-ray disc onto your computer. And there's multiples of free programs to transcode them into different files, if, if whatever file that you want. So I just put a uh, Blu-ray into my Blu-ray player. It's reading it and it will come up with a little, on Windows it comes up with a little, you know, power DVD thing here. Power DVD, and it starts. You know, if you want to launch Power DVD, you just close that. You don't use your your DVD pr program. You just go to your computer. Here's your file browser, right? And here's the disc. Susan Peter Blu-ray BR. I just put BD drive Blu-ray. Click the little drop-down arrow once. Click it again under BDMV, and then click Stream. There's the digital files right there, and there's the size of them. This is easy enough to copy. If I wanted to take and copy one of these files, I can right click and choose copy and go to put it in anywhere. Put it in, uh, I'll just out of, just put it here. Paste. You can copy and paste it into a USB drive. There's an M2TS file. Now, if you want it to transcode it into something else, in other words, if you're certain player won't play this like so many don't I just clicked it to play it and here it is it's actually the uh, oops double click the X it's the um, it's the teaser trailer so here's the teaser trailer see it's the M2TS it plays just fine with VLC media player I'm not you playing the blu right now I'm playing it off of my hard drive because I copied it it would play right off of your USB drive if you had it on a USB port and here it is so say you decided you you your say your Blu-ray player whatever player wouldn't work for that um, it won't play it M2 TS files right well all that is is that's actually the original MTS files it's the original thing this program's free it's called Winnie Doe's W I N N Y D O W S so basically just drag this TS right into here right into the bottom. Let me put it over here in the window. Over here on the right, you can make it AVI, DVD, FLC, uh, FLAC, uh, MP4. There's MP4 file. You can make it an MP4. You can pick an uh, iPhone, iPad, iPod. So say you picked iPad 720p. It automatically has the settings for it. You click where you want to save it. You click Save. Let's just put it in uh, Computer. We'll put it right in the same folder. So we'll go right to the internal video. Where is it? Okay, there it is right there. Internal video. Now it's going to save that same file number. We can call it any. Let's call it teaser. Teaser MP4. Save. Start encoding. That's it. In just a couple minutes, in five minutes and nine seconds, four minutes, three minutes, if you go back to the original folder, there it is. Teaser MP4. That's going to be a mp4 file that's 720p for an iPad if you click this you'll see that it's actually this actually is 1280 by 720 this actual file but many of them on in that stream folder are much larger so like the actual video file if I click one of these video files here okay it's 1920 by 1080 it's 10 gigs 23 frames per second and see the data rate data rates 3600 kilobytes by 36 256 kilobytes so it's it's actually much higher bit rate than say I don't know mp4 for than an mp4 file it's much higher bit rate than this mp4 file this teaser mp4 if you look over here task completed there the teasers done now teaser mp4 that is only 3176 it's not even a quarter of the data rate so the that actual look even from this the data rate is 13 13 so the data rate right off the blu-ray is over three times higher than the data rate from an mp4 which is an iPad video iPod video so if I click that iPod video to watch it, it looks great here it is here's the iPod video so you can copy it right to an iPod. Audio works fine. Everything works fine. I've got it turned off, but there's your there's your video. Everything works right from there. You can copy it. These are the files. When you make a Blu-ray, you actually copy it. Actually, all it does is just 
create these folders here and puts the actual files in it with a way to play it for a, for a put the menu on it. That's it. That's all it does. They're all the same files. I hope this helps.